The last time we have talked about the consumer widget and the state provider. So the consumer widget, it is absolutely great and you should use it when you want to use a stateless widget. In our case right now, we want to see what we can use uh, with provider when we want to use the stateful widget instead of the stateless widget. And as I have showed you and explained you, uh, you should, if you want to use provider inside uh, these widgets, you should use, for example, a consumer widget instead of a stateless widget. And you should use a consumer stateful widget instead of a stateful widget. So right now we want to convert this one uh, right here into a consumer stateful widget. So first, for example, I see that the helper doesn't help in this case. So we can do stateless widget. Okay. And now uh, it doesn't want the widget widget wrap. We can delete it. Okay. Mm, and now we can convert to stateful widget. And here, instead of stateful uh, widget, we want the consumer stateful widget. And here, uh, uh, create state. It doesn't want a state, but uh, consumer state. And here it is of type uh, consumer state, obviously. So you should change this one here and the type that uh, it is returned when you are creating the state and you are all set up. Now we have our uh, fantastic consumer stateful widget. So the reason why you would want a consumer stateful widget is because sometimes you, you may uh, you may want to use, for example, the init state, and obviously you don't have access to it uh, uh, with with the state stateless widget. And um, yeah, this is the reason why uh, you want to use it. Or, for example, you have dispose, and you can also auto dispose the providers. But if you want to dispose controllers, etc., you may need it uh, right here, the dispose function or the d change dependencies and uh, here you are able to and the difference between the consumer stateful widget and the consumer widget is that um, for example as you can see now it doesn't give us error and it is not strange because as you can see here we have not defined the widget ref that ref as second parameter because when using the consumer state you you are having the um, the ref directly so you, you you have it as a property it is injected uh, in some way the only thing that you should know is that you have access to the ref here or inside here or inside here So you always have access to your ref. So maybe you shouldn't use read here, but watch. I only only to show you as uh, I have explained in the previous video. Basically, you have ref that watch, for example, uh, just like you have widget to access, for example, a final variable here. Twenty two. Uh, widget.a and I am able to access it uh, from here because they have this special uh, property as you have this uh, special widget property. So that's it. Uh, basically, uh, then the consumer widget, the consumer stateful widget, it is exactly as, um, as a sta uh, stateful widget. And as you can see here, we can basically perform the same things. Maybe here we should restart because we have changed from a consumer widget to a consumer stateful widget. So we should restart. So here, for example, we can remove these things here. So we can 
see the changes. Okay. Now, if you press the button, it is working fine. So that's it. This is the consumer stateful widget. You should use it uh, instead of using the stateful widget. And you have this special uh, property. You shouldn't define it as a second parameter here uh, into the build. Um, and you are able to use it anywhere you want inside the init state or uh, any, uh, anywhere uh, you want. And as you can see, it works exactly as I explained before the, the consumer widget. And yeah, that's it.